back to another Steel Maze Flow tutorial. I'm Coach Kristen and I have the pleasure and honor of being a Steel Maze Coach and Educator. If you're interested in learning more about Steel Maze, please reach out as I offer virtual training and classes to get you started on your Steel Maze journey. Today's flow is going to start with the mace on the ground. I'm going to sweep one leg around, kind of into a curtsy lunge or a sort of a step four lunge and slide my hand down, hooking it into a Shaolin, zero, down here, I just go into like a full forward fold. So I want my knuckle, uh, my thumb knuckle wrapped right around the mace so that when I lift it up, that mace is, would be in a Shaolin zero position. I'm gonna continue lifting the mace up and allow the mace to roll over my thumb so I can catch it in a sort of position. It may take a couple tries to really understand the momentum of the mace. So use your guide hand until you can figure that out. From here, I'm going to step out and do an outside sword swing. I will say one, one tip about this flow. This foot doesn't move from the whole flow. So I will be moving around that foot the entire flow. So from here, I step up. I go into an outside sword swing, and then I'm going to take it to an inside sword swing, but I'm going to crest it around that pivot foot, inside sword swing, and then I'm going to crest it back again, pulling my mace out, over overhand grip, into a pivot uppercut. From here, I'm going to switch blade that tail around, switch my hands, and just open my hips up to the front in this arrow. Then I'm going to go into a drop in 360, catching the mace, pinky to globe, inverting it as if I'm going to go into another outside sword swing, but this time I'm going to halo the mace around my head. As it comes around my head, I'm going to coin flip the mace. So again, once with momentum, it's a little easier to do without a guide hand, and drive it down into a bottoms up position. Um, so this bottoms up back, I'm going to rotate it into a cross body back, cross body bottom back position so that that tail peeks out over my shoulder. I'm going to grab the tail and lever it over my shoulder, stepping back to that pivot foot. I'm going to allow the mace to fall into a samurai swing. As it comes around, I'm going to catch halfway up the mace. I'm going to go into an outside mill. And then I'm going to go into a behind the back toss. So I'm going to scoop water behind my back, toss it, and I'm going to catch it with the same hand that released it. So I'm going to scoop and catch it with the same hand. Again, that takes some practice. Once you catch it in this sort of position, it's going to want to leave her in this horizontal position anyway. So I'm going to rotate it around my back, bringing that mace all the way around. So now I'm holding the tail, and then I'm just going to invert the mace all the way around and plunge it down into the ground. And this sets me up to go on the other side. So message me with any questions, tag me if you try this, and always, always flow on my friends.